if you think of uh, firefighters, if you think of Grenfell Tower, when they actually came in, you've got full BA kits, the breathing apparatus. They can be ranged between, I think it's between 25 to 30 kilos in some case. It's a lot of weight. Then they're traveling up the stairs. They get to the top of the stairs. The metabolic cost of getting up there gives them around, I think it's around 15 to 20 seconds to get around to try and save as many as they can. By wearing an XO, in this case, you're gonna be able to get people to the top of that stairs give them five, and in some cases, maybe even 10 seconds greater. So in this case, what you'll end up doing is saving more lives in the process. So when you think of people who are paraplegic, who are now getting the benefits of the wearable robotic structures, like if you've not seen it yet, the Korean F1 design, which is a robot which will walk up to the user, it will wrap itself around the user, and then the user walks off, enough to bring a tear to the eye, right through to the Moashi stuff that we've got such a large range of exos that are just providing so much. So in short, everybody's going to get a benefit of it.